you have to decide how far you're going to let it go. Um, are you going to let him put his arm around you? Are you going to let him kiss you? What are you going to do? And you have to decide before you ever go with him. Because when you're there, it's too late. So once you've held the boy's hands, it's hard to not hold his hand. And once you've kissed him, it's hard to stop kissing and go back to holding hands. And once you've kissed a lot, it's hard to just say, kiss with one good night kiss. They make you feel like, well, to strengthen our relationship, we need this and this. And, you know, when you're dating non-members or whatever, and even a lot of the members of the church are like this, they, they feel like they want to they make the relationship grow and be more, more close. And you can't, you have to... In my mind, you have to wait till you're married to have a strong bond like that. Like in high school, you don't need that. You should, really, what you need is a friend. So as long as I'm clean, I will be able to face my Heavenly Father with no regrets. And another thing is the self-pride in knowing, hey, I can do it. There is a line of demarcation, said President George Albert Smith, well defined between the Lord's territory and the devil's. If you will stay on the Lord's side of the line, you will be under his influence and will have no desire to do wrong. But if you cross to the devil's side of the line one inch, you are in the tempter's power. And if he is successful, you will not be able to think or even reason properly because you will have lost the spirit of the Lord. Close quote. As a man soweth, so shall he reap.